One in five people struggle to feed their families. Anyone could be that one out of five. My name is Mary Ballard and I'm a speech student here at UALR. And I did my service learning with Crystal Hill Baptist Church here in Little Rock. Um, first I will tell you about my service project and then I will tell you about two key concepts that were connected to my service. And then lastly, I will talk to you about a communication concept to improve the community in my communication. Now let me tell you what I did. I completed my service learning with Crystal Hill Baptist Church. Maybe you have heard of Crystal Hill Baptist Church, it's here in Little Rock. Um, they don't have a mission statement, but according to their website, www.crystalhill.com, they are there to serve the Lord, um, share the gospel, and to make everyone feel welcome and equal. Um, the people that I served with were amazing. They were very energetic. They made you feel like family and very friendly. Um, I also got to visit with the local homeless here in downtown Little Rock. So um, they were way different than I expected. They were willing to talk and express their feelings. And it just changes your aspect of the homeless when you actually sit down and talk to them. So um, in downtown Little Rock, if you walk around, you will see several homeless. It's guaranteed. Um, a lot of people will look the other way, ignore their signs, um, pretend like they're not there. But it's very eye-opening and made a huge impact on my life to get to sit down and talk to them. My task was we started off at the church and we prepared sack lunches for the homeless. And then from there we went on a bus and we went to downtown and split up into smaller groups and then sort of went our own separate ways, just like walking around, but in like eye contact with um, the group. But um, our job was mainly to just sit down and provide company and give them the time of day that they don't usually get. So. Um, I hope that y'all would agree, but everyone should receive appreciation and just some shared time throughout their day. So on to my second point. The first communication concept that I believe went hand in hand with my service learning was appreciation. The definition according to Lane Abigail and Gooch 2014 is a relationship maintenance tact with communication that we feel grateful and thankful for our partner in the relationship itself. While I was there, I got to visit with a 54-year-old lady named Ruby. Um, we sat down and we just talked about how she got to the situation that she was in today. And um, just she even let me share my personal things that are going on in my life and just everyday things that I go through and struggle with compared to like what she struggles with as well. Um, at the end of our relation, like our talk or whatever, we both gave each other a hug and were pretty much like, it felt like a friendship that we had had for a long time, even though we had just sat down for a couple minutes to talk. But um, we both felt thankful and grateful for the relationship that we were building, and we were hoping to see each other again. But the second thing, second communication concept that I want to share is shared time. According to Lane Abigail and Gooch 2014, it is a relationship reward in the form of time spent exclusive with loved ones where you are not distracted by work or people external in the relationship. So while we were talking and everything, it was like nobody was around us. Um, we were expressing our feelings, our thoughts, um, just showing love for each other, and it was incredible. But um, because of the time spent with Ruby, um, it wasn't only special to her, but it was special to me just being able to like get out of my comfort zone and my friends and actually engage with others. So that shared time with her was really impacting. And then my last point is to talk about one communication concept that I could use to improve my communication um, with the community and a simple um, act as well. So the communication concept that I will be talking about is civil listening. According to Lena Abigail Gooch, 2014, it is a style that communicates out of belief in, in the quality of all people. So um, showing respect for people and understanding their thoughts and being able to concentrate, understand, 
um, and respond to what's being said and communicated with you. And that also ties into my civic or ethical implication that goes hand in hand with it as well from, um, according to UALR Survival Guide, um, it is caring with grace. And according to that, the definition is understanding and meeting the needs of all people we interact with, which is also being able to show respect, communicate back, understand what's being said to you, and being able to reply and let your um, audience or the person you're talking to just be able to understand that you are listening to what they are actually saying. So in conclusion today, I've told you about my service learning project and two communication concepts that were connected to my service learning. And lastly, the communication concepts to improve the community and my communication as well. And so the next time you see um, someone on the side of the street holding up a sign, maybe you should think about, like, do I know their story, like what they've gone through and everything, and just give them a chance to tell their story.